Hi, this is Juliana with Douglas Seliman Real Estate. I'm here on our weekly sessions that I have started uh, in order to answer the most common questions that I get from my clients. In an effort to assist you a little bit, I made this short video on the steps to follow in order to buy a property. This is one of the most common questions I get when I receive my new clients who are looking and are very excited about buying a new property, either for investment or for them to live in. So the first step is to, uh, if you are going to, to determine if you are going to buy cash or if you are, if you're going to need uh, to finance the purchase of the property. If you're buying cash, all we will need at the moment of presenting the offer, once we have found the property you like, then we will need the proof of funds with which will be either a picture or a copy of a bank statement where you have the money that you are planning to buy your property with. We don't need any information from that account. All we need to show is the name of the person or uh, people who are going to be in the contract of sell and purchase and uh, showing uh, just the name and just the amount where it shows that you have the funds to be able to purchase and pay for the property. So this is all we would need as a proof if you are buying cash. And again, we will need this when we are ready to uh, put the offer once we have found already the right property for you. If you are buying finance, then we will for sure, and this is very important, we will need the letter of pre-approval from the bank or the lender uh, that you will be using in order to get the money to finance the property. We will need this letter because in order for us to present an offer, we will need to submit the offer along with this pre-approval letter. If we do not have the pre-approval letter, the offer will not be received and the, the, the seller will not even look uh, at our offer if we don't present this letter along with the offer. So it is very important, it is a must, that we have this pre-approval letter before we even start searching for properties. Okay, so that's the step number one. Usually the lenders take between one to three days to give you the pre-approval letter as long as you send all the papers that they request from you as soon as possible. It should not take more than three days if you present your papers really soon. Actually, nowadays, most of the papers are just sent by email. You don't even go, need to go in person to take the papers to the lender. They usually do everything by email. So it is really very simple for you to send them the papers in order for them to give you your pre-approval letter. And in the same way, they will send it to you by mail as well, your pre-approval letters with all the terms and, uh, of the loan. Okay, so once we have the pre-approval letter, we will be uh, ready to search for the property that you're looking for and uh, we will search for all the criteria based on all the criteria that you uh, are looking uh, for in this property. Um, either you are looking for investment or for you to move in and to, to live in the property. Then we will take uh, the things that we need to take into consideration. And I will do a, an extensive search of properties that are available on the market in that moment. I will send them to you by email and I will send you a very complete description of the property along with a lot of pictures so that you can see the property and have a good idea of how it looks. We will look for all the restrictions, all the, uh, all the, the payments that you will have to make for this property. If it's a condominium, for example, we will have to see for the association fees maybe if they have any assessment dues, and uh, I will find out everything that you need to know, okay? Uh, according and depending on, on the criteria and what exactly are you looking for in this property. Sorry, guys. Okay, um, so one we, once we have these and I send you this to your email, 
then we will uh, be ready to, as soon as you like one or a few, we will be ready to go and look at the property. Once we look at the property eh, and you like it, once we find what you are exactly looking for, and the property that meet all the requirements, once uh, we find this, then we can present the offer. Once we present the offer to the seller and uh, he accepts uh, our terms and conditions and our price, or as soon as you both get into an agreement and agree into all the terms and conditions and the price uh, to purchase the property, then we are ready to start all the process of the purchase. In the process we usually have, if this is a, with a loan, we will have a lender involved and a title company. Title company is always going to be involved, either you have a loan or not, and they are the, the ones who will take care of uh, searching and researching and make sure that the property is clean the title of the property is clean, that there are no liens on the property, that there are no open permits, no violations, and that everything is the way it is supposed to be before you even close the, the purchase. So along with them, if you have a lender, we will have uh, the loan officer who will be taking care of all the paperwork that you need to submit to complete the final approval. Uh, and then along with this, I will be, of course, in touch on a daily basis with the lender, in case there is a lender involved, and with the title company. I will be copying you on all the, our communications, on all the emails. You will always uh, be aware uh, of what is and informed of what is going on. On the very first day that we are under contract and that uh, we agreed with the other party on all the terms and conditions of the contract, I will send you a list of deadlines as per contract that we will have to meet. But uh, of course, this is just for, the re for your reference, but I will be reminding you and I will be after you in order to fulfill all these deadlines, okay? It is not that I am going to present the offer and then you won't hear from me again until the day uh, we close and you get your keys. Not at all. I will be uh, along the whole process, uh, leading you day by day and guiding you in everything that you have to do. Okay? So that is a more specific process. So whenever we are under contract, then I will explain you everything little by little, day by day so that you don't get confused. But do not worry, I'll be there every single day until the day you get your keys, okay? So if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to answer them. Uh, again, you can always contact me on my phone, by email, or via WhatsApp. If you are international, out of the country, you can always uh, call me by WhatsApp by dialing a plus one and my number, which is 786 two nine zero six zero nine one thank you